two, one, and lift off. Launching satellites into space is simple enough. It's not like it's rocket science. Yes, it is. It's exactly like rocket science. Okay, true, but we can simplify it. Sure we can. The science needs to launch anything into space all boils down to one thing, getting something to stay up without falling back down. To explain this, we need Sir Isaac Newton and his laws. Newton discovered the law of gravity, which explains that two bodies attract each other with the force that's directly proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the distance between them, such as an apple and the earth. In other words, gravity is always pulling our apple back down. Wait, why are we using an apple? There's a story about Newton discovering gravity from an apple falling onto his head. Newton also discovered the laws of motion, which could have helped him get the apple to space, preventing any further head injuries. Got it. With Newton's first law, we learn that if we throw our apple sideways, it keeps going sideways until gravity pulls it down to Earth. If we can get the apple to go about 20 times the speed of sound, gravity will bend the apple's path and it will never hit the ground. How do we get an apple to go that fast? Acceleration. Which is a change in speed divided by how long we take to make that change. Newton's second law tells us we can accelerate our apple by applying a force to it. Since we need to go really fast, we need a lot of force or a lot of time. But if it's too much force, our apple will get destroyed. So we'll want to keep the force at just a few times the force of gravity in order to keep our apple safe on its way to space. Which brings us to Newton's third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So when the rocket burns 2,000 pounds of propellant out of the engine per second, it pushes our rocket and our apple in the opposite direction. As the rocket burns fuel, it gets lighter and lighter, making it go faster and faster. Once the rocket gets the apple to the right height and speed, the apple will fall around the Earth and be in orbit. If it's in orbit, Newton can be worry-free, because once the apple's up there, it'll stay up there. All thanks to Sir Isaac Newton. That wasn't too hard, right? Not at all. It's only rocket science. And apples. <laughs> <laughs>